tourist hot spot hit hard by the coronavirus is celebrating tonight, finally declaring their COVID emergency over. South Lake Tahoe was overwhelmed by COVID cases and with no major hospital in that area, they struggled to control the virus. But tonight they say their long lasting nightmare is officially over. CBS 13's Laura Hayfley spoke to local officials reflecting on the last three years and what's ahead. When COVID hit California, cities and hospital systems were overwhelmed. The COVID-19 pandemic was a real shock. South Lake Tahoe struggled to keep case counts low. The former city council member, now mayor, Devin Middlebrook, says it wasn't easy. Obviously, being on a, a border between two states always brings confusion between differing state laws and differing regulations. The tourist town worked to contain COVID, but borders Nevada, where despite a pandemic, casinos were packed and life continued as normal. We couldn't stop people traveling on a U.S. interstate from California to Nevada to do whatever they wanted to do. While COVID closed doors, tourism took a hit. Our economic engine ground to a halt. We're just trying to make it through this year. So the city stepped up, offering refunds to businesses like Chicken in a Barrel for outdoor setups. If we get half of that paid for by the city, um, that gives us hope that you know that we can make it through. As COVID calmed, the challenges didn't end for South Lake. If a pandemic wasn't enough, we also had a catastrophic wildfire. Through all of that, our community has really stepped up and, and, and weathered the storm. Now, the city recognized nationwide for its efforts fighting COVID-19 has finally caught a break. This week, city council officially voted to end the COVID-19 emergency. How emotional was this decision to finally officially end the COVID-19 emergency. And it was definitely a bittersweet moment, but it also was a, uh, a light at the end of the tunnel for our local community members. We are a resilient bond. 